Hi there, my friends of YouTube. I'm hoping that this video, from what I'm seeing, is viewfinder. It looks like it's like yellowish, white, or whatever. But if it's too off, I'm sorry. I just trying to fool around with the camera, the camcorder a little bit, and you know, just the settings and stuff a little bit. Because I have a bulb out here, so and then and it was dim, so I decided to try a different setting and kind of looks good and kind of don't to me because I look like I'm yellowish. But anyways, I'm coming at you today with my empties. Woo! A whole lot of empties! So I'll start out with the big thing that I have here, which is my boyfriend used it. Gillette Body Hydration, more hydration than regular soap. And it has a pump and he loves this. He puts five pumps on the washcloth and washes himself or the sponge that he uses. And he likes it he likes it because it actually makes the skin soft and actually cleans. Um, when he uses Irish Spring, that one doesn't really clean as good. He feels like, I mean, it's got a good smell, but the only thing is he doesn't feel like he's getting clean. You know, and this has a good smell to it and it gets him clean. And I like the smell, so plus on that. And um, Gillette Scents Shave Gel for men. Men don't have to just use it because I've used it quite a few times myself. It makes my really legs soft. It gets right down in there and gets the good, it gets the hairs and everything with the razor that I use. So I like it, and it's only a few bucks, so and it smells good. And then the other thing I have, which is my body wash, is the Crest Endless Kiss Creamy Vanilla and Sandalwood, and I do love this. This really, I've shown them so many Caress products. I mean, it really softens. It, it smells great, you know. Uh, it smells good. And um, I will continue buying it. And sometimes you get two for one price. So that's good. And Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. I'm out of this. And this is my um, second one. I'll be buying a third one. It takes me like six months to use one up. Well, five to six months to use one up and because you know, a little bit goes a long ways and it doesn't make your face tight it doesn't make your face oily it, it seeps up the oils that I have on my face because I get real oily face and it really cleans it doesn't take all your makeup off I mean it doesn't say here if it doesn't it doesn't leave um, it doesn't clog your pores it doesn't take all your makeup off you know water based make I mean, and um, waterproof makeup, it doesn't take that off. I mean, it does take some of your makeup off, but you still have to use the other, other stuff to get it off. But I do like it, and it's around 8 to $10. And I use up the Pangina or Origins Facial Cream Italian Red Mandarinian with Rose for dry and mature skin. Now I have mature skin, my skin was only dry in the winter and I was using this a lot more in the winter. Um, it's a nice facial cream, I, didn't, I just don't like the smell, the smell has just really didn't, didn't have a smell I liked. But it was something that I got once in one of my subscription boxes, don't ask me which one, that I subscribed to and I like it. But I just don't like the smell. And. Luster Wow Instant Whitening Toothpaste. This stuff um, is, I think, $15, $16, something like that. For a bigger one, not for this price, for a bigger one. It comes out blue, as you can see. See, that's the blue and everything. Um, I like it because it really gets in there and foams up and cleans, but it does not whiten. I don't see no whitening happening anywhere. You know, it does. Um, it says the whitening lasts for hours, but I don't see anything. And it's not even, it's not worth the price that it says online. It says about 15, 16 bucks. It does not whiten. It does foam up, which I do like because I like my toothpaste to foam up. And it does get a lot of tartar off, the plaque, I mean, off your teeth. But other than that, I wouldn't buy this again because it's just not worth it. And the Matrix Biolage Micro Oil Shampoo, this one here. I do not like this at all. It just, I feel like it's not cleaning my hair. I feel my hair is getting oily. It's just, 
it doesn't have the greatest smell. I just feel, I'm glad it's only a sample because I wouldn't, if it was anything other than a sample, I would have already thrown it away. But I don't like it. I like things with oils in it, but this is, just makes my hair way down. Feels like it's not getting clean and disgusting. So I don't like it. And I used the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Setting Spray with tea and cucumber. That's all gone. I do love it. I will repurchase it. It is affordable on the website. It's like, what, about $2, 3 You know, right now I'm using another one. Um, not not this brand, but I'm using another brand um, from NYX. And that one's doing okay. But I still, right at the moment, this is still my number one. I have used uh, Model in the Bottle. The first time I used the setting spray, and that one was great. But it's pricey. But this one is a go-to. You know, and I figured I'd try the NYX, see what that's like, because that was affordable. But so far, this is my number one. Everything sticks to it, even with oily skin. And... Tone per Perfecting Cream. This here. Olay, I got it as a sample in my um, Walmart box. I love it, and I will buy it again. It does, I feel like it is toning. It is doing real good for my skin. I can feel, I can see a difference in my skin. That's all I can say. So I will buy a bigger one down the line. So there's none left. But I mean, I got to use it like four times. Four? Yeah, about four times, but it's still, it's worth it, whatever it costs. And the Sensodyne toothpaste. I had to use this because when I did chemo, they said my teeth were going to get sensitive and stuff. And it did get sensitive and they asked me to use Sensodyne to help with my teeth. So I did and it's an okay toothpaste. I'm not going to say anything wrong about it because there isn't anything wrong. It does help with, you know, with my teeth because my teeth got sensitive during the chemo and stuff. So this did help. And, um... Here's this other stuff. I got Dior Conditioning Lip Treatment, Lip Enhancer thing here. This one I do not like. I didn't even finish it all. There's still a little bit, very little, maybe one or two more applications in it or whatever. It just smells. It smells funny. It just goes on your lips. It's sticky. It's gross. I had one, another one that I bought. Well, I didn't buy it. I got it in one of my, um, I got it in my birch box a couple months, sometime last year. And that one I really liked because it was a mint and it, and it was really nice conditioning. and wasn't sticky and all that. But this one I don't like because it's sticky and all that and there's still some left in there. So I'm not going to use it because I don't like it. And this here is all dried out and gross because I've had this for going on almost three years. So I figured it's time to let it go. It's called MAC Lip Gloss lip glass and it's in um, Viva Glam Gaga so it's one of them um, Lady Gaga stuff and it's a pink and it's like that it's a pink so um, it's got to go because I've had it for almost three years and it's sticky and it's coming out clumpy and it's gross and this one here is called Avon Chocolate Kiss and um, lip gloss there's still a lot in there because I only used it two or three times. Didn't care for it. Um, it was only it was only a dollar, so I figured I'd pick it up on Avon. And when I did, it it was I thought I was gonna like it, but I put it on. It's sticky. It smell. It does smell like chocolate. You know, and it just it was too much. A lot came out, and when I tried to fix, you know, rub it with my fingers and stuff, it just didn't do any to help it at all. So I mean. I will not repurchase any of these again on, on there, even if they're a dollar, because it's just, it was too much, too sticky and all that. And I have an eyeliner here, which is all dried out. It's a black one, it's from Physician's Formula. And there's still some in there, very little in there, but it's all dried out and stuff, and I don't want to use it no more. I can't use it no more because it's all dried out. But I will buy their eyeliners 
gel eyeliners again because I love it. So. And I got Dream Matte Powder. I know y'all seen they don't make it no more. I heard that they stopped. They discontinued this. I heard from a couple other people. And it's empty. See? Um, I loved it. I mean, it did, it really made my face matte. Oils didn't see through. My makeup stayed on all throughout the day. I love it. I wish they, I could find it someplace. If anybody knows about this or knows they still make it out there, let me know. Because I'm willing to buy it again. And I got... Now this, I went to open it up out of the elf package that I got. And it, like, fell apart. See? It's all dried out. Can't even get it. See? Oh, gross. That's not what a wand is supposed to look like. It's supposed to be sparkly and all that. And this is gross. It's all dried out and clumpy on there. And, oh, can't even use it. And this other side is the same thing. It's all gross. See? And I don't... It's just dried out and gross and falling apart. And, you know, so... Bye-bye. I will try getting another one down the line and, and seeing if it does the same thing. If it does, I'll never buy them again. And then I got this, which is Sky Rise NYC Length in the Mascara. Now, the thing with this is I thought I was going to like it, but then I, re I do have long lashes. And I got it, and I started using it, and it's like, why did I buy this? Because I have long lashes as it is. I don't need any length in it to my you know, mess to my eyelashes. And this is what it looks like. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to chuck it because I used it a few times and it's like it didn't go well, you know, because my, made my eyelashes look like spider legs or something because they were so long. Even because I got long lashes on it, but this on it just made it look not so, not so pleasant and pretty. And the big look, um, waterproof with argan oil. I got this in my um, Ipsy bag, and one time a couple months ago, it's all dried out. So, yeah, it's starting to get dried out. So, and I've had it for like five, six months, so I know it's definitely time for it to go. And there's little bristles, and it's a plastic wand, and I. Don't mind plastic wands if they work. Some plastic wands you try to put it on, it's like, okay, not budging, not bringing anything out, but and others just go, Shh, and then there's your, you know, mascara right on your eyes. So, and I got two other things I'm going to show you which are not makeup related. This one is Snap a Crisp Black Pepper one. People said they wanted to know about it, and here it is. And it's really good. It's only two dollars and twenty nine cents, so it's it's well worth it. And I eat a whole bag in one cent. I can I actually do. It's healthy for you. It's good for you. So there's no regrets. And no, I only have so many calories I'm supposed to have in a day. Now nah, don't worry about it. Those are fine. And then I was snacking on. I had a craving for the Swedish fish, soft and chewy candies. And I ended up buying them. And they're so yummy. I eat like four or five at a time and then I'm fine. And then the next day I'll eat another four or five. But I loved them. I got them for like two dollars and some change. So it's well worth it. That's all my empties. All my trash. All my garbage. Whatever you want to call it. So let's pack this all up and put it in the recycle. Because they need their recycle. Have a nice day. See you on the flip side of the next camera. Woohoo!